Hey friends, I just wanted to make a fast video about something that's just really in my mind and on my heart right now. We hear a lot of people saying these days, it's a lot of it's from Walkway, but maybe other places, that you know, I'm not for or against this idea necessarily, just this is the idea that's said. That the eternal victim status of black people is not as bad as it's been cracked up to be. Like that, that's something that people are talking about. Now that's something that people have been saying for a long time, but more and more I'm hearing black people say that. And I want to give my perspective as a white guy who's been underprivileged in another country for 10 years as, uh, as kind of an immigrant where the immigration related law, not immigration laws, but immigration related laws, laws that govern immigrants, but aren't under immigration, if that makes sense. Um, like, like you could say labor laws for, for games, I suppose. Also, you know, banking laws, you know, are, are foreigners allowed to have bank accounts, you know, like th that sort of thing. Um, I've been in a country like that and I've been very underprivileged for many, 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 many years. And I, there's a lot of truth to what my black friends would tell me through college, through after college. It, it, they would say, Jesse, the system is against black people. And I'd be like, all right, I hear you, but I, I, I couldn't see what they were talking about. Now that I've been in this other country, I really do see it. And um, if, you know, me in my own life, you know, all of us, everyone, even from me growing up in America, everyone has stuff that we have kind of sort of been the victim concerning. And we all, all of us, everyone has to get over the victim status of the, the, the victim specific stuff, the specific stuff in our lives. It's, it's like part of baggage issues and growing up. Now, the the bad things that happened in history, we need to get past them, but they shouldn't be forgotten. And, and there, you know, well, you got a lot of people saying, come on, man, you know, don't, don't be the victim forever. You've got to get up and grow up. And there's, there's important truth to that. Like that's part, you know, like for everybody, but there is, you know, the history books need to keep telling us the truth. A lot of Japanese don't even know that they had a war with Americans, you know, for example. Uh, China tells their people that people in Taiwan had to eat the peels of bananas because Taiwan was so poor. Um, yeah, I mean, th th there's a lot of lies in history books, and I, I want to make sure that the history books don't lie. But just for us personally in our lives, you know, yes, um, things do happen, and it's, it's not just black people. It's also just the amount of money you make. And, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not an expert, so I want to speak for it. But one thing to bring up is Hispanics, you know, like there's another status sort of a thing going on there. It's not the same as black people, but you've got a minority situation. And I've, I, I just want to say, um, yeah, on a personal note, we all have to get past the past. Everyone has to, but we need to remember the past and keep the history books so we don't repeat it. Like that's important also, but getting past the past and learning from the past are two separate things. And it's really hard to not smash the two together. It's hard to not conflate the two while we're going through, if, if you feel me. So, I, I'm, you know, I'll stand as witness to say, yes, where you've come from, what your financial situation is, even skin color, there are things in systems anywhere you go that will stack the deck against you. And people who don't benefit from this system and it's, it's like, you don't see it. It's, it's, it's not like written, like this is the law and how it is. It's just, this has to happen and that has to happen. And then you grew up knowing this and not that. And then someone else has an assumptions about this, which aren't true, which isn't really bad. And you just keep going like this for about 200 different, you know, maybe a thousand different factors. And because of where you grow up, your life's more difficult. And people that aren't in that place, they don't see it. 
and they're extremely insensitive, very, very rude, condescending, no compassion at all. Well, I don't see what your problem is. Hurry up and, you know, very gruff about it. And it's not good. It's not good. And I'm, I'm telling you, expat here, um, I, expat, I live in another country. I, like I've been the immigrant, you know, in another place, you know, staying in touch with America, but trying to understand different cultures so we can solve our own at home in America. That's been my thing. I'm saying, no, this is a real thing. When someone tells you that there's something about the system stacked against them, they are not necessarily making excuses. They aren't trying to stay stuck in the past. They're just talking about a very real situation. And when you're on the privileged end of those invisible systems that I kind of described a few minutes ago, like you don't see it. And we need to have ears. We need to listen. We need to use our pair of ears. So yeah, let's get past the past, but let's be honest about stuff and have real conversations. And let's remember the past. We don't repeat it. And let's be sensitive. In Christian terms, that comes up a lot. I, I don't do the Sunday morning thing, but I study the Bible and I totally believe in the Bible and I believe Jesus. The, it was Micah 6, 8. You know, God was saying how he was going to come in. He was fed up with what Israel was doing. And they were being sarcastic, saying, well, what, do you, what does God want? He's want rivers of oil as sacrifice. And God says, you want to know what I want? I'll tell you what I want. I want you to do what's right to other people. And I want you to love giving mercy to other people. And I want you to be humble as you walk with me. And many times we can say, like, you're obligated. It's the law. You made a promise to me. You've got to follow through with it. But at the same time, you are able to do something that's merciful in nature. Like there's some level of showing mercy. And when you have an opportunity to be merciful and kind with people, not, not in a way that looks like you're the nice guy, but you're getting little power game power over top of them. Not that, but just genuinely being nice to people. You don't have to love those moments. Seize every moment you can to show mercy to someone. And a lot of the times you get, especially church Christians, people who grew up in church, Christians grew up in church or had, you know, n no religion at all growing up. Usually it's, it's the established religion or no religion at all. Not, not personal, personal religion, not that. People that had established religion or no religion at all, very quickly, they're into their structures and their systems. And they will jump to say, no, you're obligated. That's a real tough luck. It's like, wait a minute, you have an opportunity for mercy there. So shouldn't you be excited to show it? I mean, that's really what the bigger issue with all this is about. Tell me your thoughts.